Hey. Yes. Hey, man. How you doing? Good. How you doing? I'm doing good. Here, let's, uh, we got you up here. All right. Sweet, man. This is the class. I'm going to turn you around. Oh, I love so you it. Can see All right. Maybe. Hey, there you are. How you guys doing? Yeah. Hey, there you go. Back there in the red. Is that a red there next to the lamp there? The scarf. How you doing? Good to see you. <laughs> so we'll, do a, we'll do like a, a panorama. Hey, what's up? Over there. It's my you wife. Doing? Hey, hey, what's up, Kendra? How you doing? Good to see you. Hey. All right. You guys are looking good. Having a good time. Hey, what's up? Wow, this is great. Well, hey, as you can see where I'm at in the background, I'm actually live in the kitchen of Manhattan Cafe in Portland, Oregon. <laughs> it's the best place I could find. It's quiet. It's nice. But they're going to be coming in and out doing dishes and all kinds of fun stuff. Uh, boy, you can do social media anywhere, but... If they have me start doing some dishes, uh, you know, I'm okay. I'll continue to talk with you, okay? i gotta, I got to earn my keep around here. Hey, so we, uh, we kind of went through the notes that we talked about, but I wanted – I shared a little bit about who you are, but fill us in on just some of the recent projects you've been involved with, this, with social media. Absolutely. Well, it's been kind of a, uh, all over the map uh, with social media and uh, jumping in. Um, and just trying anything I can just so I can learn and because uh, we don't have 40, 40 years of data on social media so we're still kind of in the wild west so I'm willing to take on different projects and, and some of them have been uh, shorter than others. Uh, one of the ones that we did um, over the uh, uh, December uh, working with uh, Donald Miller's uh, The Mentoring Project and they had a great campaign going on uh, to raise awareness and funds in December so we kind of worked with them on tweeting and it was great. We, we set up a tweet for them and, and harnessed a couple other folks on Twitter to, to, sign, to send a tweet, a tweet out to all of their friends. And uh, we had a tweet that went out 12 times in less than 24 hours to all of our people in our network. And we had uh, about 36,000 impressions in less than 24 hours. And that calculated at about 1,000 hits to the website. And it was amazing, just from 12 tweets, and, uh, of course, what they're doing at the mentoring project is pretty awesome, uh, what they're doing there. Another project that I'm working on, it's kind of random, but I'm working with a uh, group of guys that have developed a drain. Yep, a drain that if you put it in your, your, uh, your bathtub, um, it, it, it chews up the hair so your hair doesn't clog in it. You're like, yes. thinking, yeah, yeah, there you go. Hey, Everclear <laughs> drains, okay? They're going to love this because we're, we're, we're making a deal right now. <laughs> Right there, right there in the front there. I love it. And so um, it's an amazing product, but they asked me to come alongside of them with social media and, and help them brand it. And I thought, what an amazing challenge. How do you put a personality on a drain? You know, I mean, I mean how much more can I say about a drain and, um, and have fun with it? And so, but we've been having a ball. Now we've got videos on, uh, that we're starting up on, on the internet about, you know, uh, doctor house calls. We're going and cleaning out drains and getting pictures of just gross stuff that gets stuck in there. And I'm trolling Twitter to find out who's talking about uh, drains and clogs and things like that. And I'm engaging in the conversation and we're having a ball. So those are, those are a couple different ones. I'm working with a couple bands um, right now uh, that are going to be launching here pretty soon. And uh, just started a new organization called the Freedom Congress, which is nonpartisan. And uh, working with folks like Senator Jim DeMint and uh, Oliver North and a few others, uh, General Boyk and Stu Weber, they're all on the board with us. And uh, right now we're currently developing a whole online uh, infrastructure, social media platform to, uh, to reach, the, uh, reach a lot of people. So those are just a few things. Gunnar, you, you've been a youth pastor. You've been a worship leader. I mean, you've been involved with a lot of things within the church. Yeah. What are some ways that you would recommend for, for these guys here that are involved with children's ministries, student ministries, uh, church ministries? What are some of the things that you would say, these are great things? I mean, we've gone through some of the stuff that you and I have talked through, but, mm -hmm. but what are some ideas that you would have to say, man, if, if I were a pastor today in 2010, this is how I would be using these tools? Absolutely. I mean, Absolutely. There, I mean, there's, there's, there, a, there's so much that, uh, that you can uh, use with this in that uh, – I was getting a little echo there, so sorry about that – um, yeah. A couple of the things is, as you may have already touched on, Ezra, is, you know, social media is a two-way conversation. You know, it's not just like putting a bulletin out there 
and hoping people are reading it and they're going to come to the events or whatever else. This is a way to engage and not only engage, but it's an introduction to each other that hopefully will lead to that face-to-face -face contact at the church or a coffee shop or, or a retreat or whatever. And uh, there's a lot of things, if you're a children's minister, you know, one of the things that I love to see uh, you know, children's pastors and stuff do is communicating with parents, not so much on just, you know, here's what's going on, here's what's happening, let's keep in touch with that, but hey, let's talk, let's all read some books together. Let me, let me come alongside of you to help you be a better parent and give you tools. And uh, using social media is great. You can do online chats. You can do a podcast devotional every week. Um, Ustream.tv. Did you guys talk about that a little bit? Yeah, we did. Yeah, I mean, that's a great, great thing to be able to do to, you know, you can broadcast your small group or you can communicate with each other that way. Um, you know, the main thing is that you can, you can use social media any way you want. We want to mobilize people this way, but I love the idea of connecting people and dialoguing with people, going deeper than just the announcements. And uh, throughout the week, let's send them. An, uh, let's send them. I got a pastor right now over in Sunnyside area. He's using text messages on on his uh, whole sermon series. So throughout the week, he's sending a text message a day um, to, to to keep to and encourage people. That doesn't cost hardly anything. Twitter, you can do the same. But uh, I just love the idea of it's a two-way two-way engagement, and uh, we can answer questions. You can do chats um, and just get people involved. Do you guys have any questions for Gunnar? What kind of hair product do you use? <laughs> you know what? You know, actually, you know, I just got back from California, and I didn't get a chance to really go shopping to get the right type of product. So my wife blessed me. She got one of those little dollar ninety nine hairspray things and put it in my bag. And I do that, and I use a little something else that she uses for her curly hair, and it just works. <laughs> Looks good, man. Yeah. Hey. I just use, I just kind of use my hand, you know, and, and, and it just, you know, what can I say? You know, it looks good, man. <laughs> Does that work there? Yeah. You want the side there? Yeah, yeah, there you go. Actually, it's a good hair day, to be honest with you. Oh, it's looking good, man. <laughs> hey, G, thank you so much, man. And uh, I'll talk to you, I'm sure, in the next day or two. But thanks for everything. You bet, for man. God bless you guys. You bet. Thanks. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.